Hi, I'm Max the Barber. And I'm Sheba, the Lady Barber. Ailes Millions asked us if we would take a moment and go over some barbering sanitary rules and regulations. We had no problem with this, because we know how important keeping your shop clean is to you. So let's get started. Each barber and each owner or manager of a barber shop, barber school or college, or any other place where barber service is rendered, shall comply with the following sanitary rules and regulations. The proper quarters. Every barber shop or other place where barber service is rendered, shall be located in buildings or rooms of such construction, that they may be easily cleaned, well lighted, well ventilated, and kept in an orderly and sanitary condition. Each area where barber service is rendered or where a combination of barber service and cosmetology service is rendered, shall be separated by a substantial partition or wall from areas used for purposes other than barber and cosmetology services or shoe shining services. Walls, floor and fixtures where barber service is rendered are to be kept sanitary. Running water, hot and cold, shall be provided, and sinks shall be located at a convenient place in each barber shop, so that barbers may wash their hands after each haircut. Tanks and lavatories shall be of such construction that they may be easily cleaned. Equipment and instruments. Each person serving as a barber, shall, immediately before using razors, tweezers, combs, contact cup or pad, sterilize the instruments by immersing them in a solution of 50% alcohol, 5% carbolic acid, 20% form aldehyde, or 10% lysol or other product or solution that the ball may approve. Every owner or manager of a barber shop, shall supply a separate container for the use of each barber, adequate to provide for a sufficient supply, of the above solutions. In other words, make sure you have some barber side on your station. Each barber shall maintain combs and hairbrushes in a clean and sanitary condition at all times, and shall thoroughly clean mugs and lather brush before each separate use. The headrest of every barber chair shall be protected with clean paper or a clean laundered towel. Each barber chair shall be covered with a smooth non porous surface, such as vinyl or leather, that is cleaned easily. Every person serving as a barber shall use a clean towel for each patron. All clean towels shall be placed in closed cabinets until used. Receptacles composed of material that can be washed and cleansed shall be provided to receive used towels, and all used towels must be placed in receptacles until laundered. Towels shall not be placed in a sterilizer or tank or rinsed in the barber shop. All wet and used towels shall be removed from the work stand or lavatory after serving each patron. Whenever hair cloth is used in cutting the hair, shampooing, dye jobs, a newly laundered towel or paper neck strap shall be placed around the patron's neck, so as to prevent the hair cloth from touching the skin. Hair cloths shall be replaced when soiled. Barbers. Every person serving as a barber shall thoroughly cleanse his or her hands immediately before serving each patron. Each person working as a barber shall be clean both as to person and dress. No barber shall serve any person who has an infectious or communicable disease, and no barber shall undertake to treat any patron's infectious or contagious disease. The owner or manager of a barber shop or any other place where barber service is rendered shall post a copy of these rules and regulations in a conspicuous place in the shop or other place where the services are rendered. We hope this information has helped you in some way, and we understand that you may already know and do what we've mentioned. But there are many who work unlicensed out of their dormitories and homes. We just want to make sure that they at least know how to prevent the spread of disease. That's right. On behalf of myself, Sheba, the Lady Barber, Max the Barber, and the entire Abmum team, we would like to thank you for your time, much success and God bless. Peace.